What's up everybody, thanks for joining us here today on the VSO Gun Channel and what we're going to be working on is some more ammo testing and I have 762 by 39 this is the new Red Army Standard 124 grain full metal jacket and if we look at the ammunition you can tell that that is the truth. I'll throw a close one in there so you guys can see it but what we have here is what appears to be a bimetal jacket bullet uh, that is in the lacquered case with sealant both at the neck and at the primer pocket denoted by that purple stuff right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we have a couple guns here today. We're going to do some velocity testing as well as some accuracy testing to see how this stuff does and uh, without further ado we're going to go ahead and get to it. All right we're going to start off with the Zukov. Uh, we want to get some uh, velocity data out of a full length AK-47 um, to get things started. Hold up. <laughs> Blooper reel. That's okay. It's all good. Can you still see through that? I can. Twenty three seventy six. Hold. Twenty three. Wait a minute. What's it say? Twenty. 2473. 2473. Good grief. We need some new equipment. I need to glue those down, is yeah, what I need to do. I think we do. 2411. 2380. Duplicate. 2342. 2343. 2385. Ah. Okay, so wait a minute. I don't think there, I think there was one in there that we didn't get a reading on because you shot too fast. Okay. So here you go. Blowing the test. Go ahead. Killed it. 2339. Man, we need to do something about this chrono, man. I don't know. Talk about defective equipment. Stability to our chronograph here. You know? Yeah, it needs a little. Needs a little help. We could probably. A little TLC there. Yeah, maybe we should just, you know, go ahead and get a real chronograph. I mean, this thing does a great job when it works, it's just kind of temperamental. Well, it's done its job for what a couple years now yeah i mean i'm surprised it lasts this long okay should be ready to go and uh what do you got there man oh i got the mini draco <laughs> a step down from the zukov uh, in barrel length um it's a cute little thing we'll see what kind of uh velocity we're getting out of this what is this? Uh, without looking at the book, what are we about? Five. Five maybe. inch barrel? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Well, we're going to put 10 rounds down range and see what we can do. 1357. 1552. What? Uh, we've got a malfunction here. <laughs> You need to back up a little bit. There you go. There we go. 1656, that's better. 1794. 1709. 1534. 1998, 1784, and again, since we had a datum that was out of range, 
Here you go. Sixteen thirty-one. All right, collar good. Yeah, that is erroneous data. That says four thousand nine hundred and seventy-two. That was smoking. <laughs> okay, we are ready to rock and roll on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have the micro uh, Draco. So we started off with the Zukov, full mm -hmm. length. Dropped down to the mini with about a five-inch barrel. And I'd say we're coming in at probably about Four. a three, three and a half yeah. inch barrel on this one. I haven't looked at it. I don't know what the spec sheet is. Yeah, I'm not, that's not, you know, scientific. It's just by eyeballing it under this block of wood. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> let's see uh, what she'll do. This ought to be good. It ought to be good. Let's, let's do it. 1616. 16. 1454 Ooh. 1768 17 70 oh no 1716 I thought we got 1776 there for a second 1534 or 39 <laughs> 2020 Trump's re-election year 1857 1929 1780 1857 all right we made it through a string without a malfunction of equipment <laughs> all right guys and gals so we have upgraded to the mark 47 mutant we have a full video out on this thing if you guys missed it uh, definitely check it out it's a cool gun but we have the mini ACOG as well as the rugged surge on here, quiet down a little bit. And we have a target down there at 50 yards. We're gonna go ahead and shoot 10 rounds just for like a field expedient group, see how uh, the thing groups, and we'll go down and see how we did. Here we go. All right, let's run down there and see how we did. All right, guys, we're down here at the other end of the range, and Doc is going to do our measuring for us. So as we can see here, we have my crappy shooting, and I really see two dist distinct groups here. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll measure them both individually and then all together. We're going to eliminate those two flyers, one on either side. So measuring the right group there... I'm gonna call that approximately, I mean, approximately 0.3, you know, center to center. Uh, what's the uh, left group look like? It's gonna be a little bit wider than the other, than the first one. I can't really read that indicator. 0 0.4. 0 0.42. 0 0.42. So let's go ahead and measure them as one group now. Center to center approximately 0.6 so I say we call it MOA ish so 762 by 39 ammo approximately one MOA out of the box out of the box can't complain about that no not too bad of course if you had a competent shooter we could probably even get it better than that and there you guys have it pretty much the performance that we would expect to see out of just about any 7.62x39 round. So it meets the standard or the Red Army standard, if you will. And uh, I think we shot a decent cross-section of guns here today in 7.62x39 to kind of get an idea of its performance. Again, 7.62x39 is inherently reliable. Uh, and a lot of people have this misconception that it's all the AK-47. That is not true. Really what it is, it's just about any gun chambered in 7.62x39 is going to be inherent, inherently more reliable than a lot of guns because of the tapered casing. If you look at this thing, there is a taper in that case. And what that means is that when it goes up, it, pour, it basically forms a, uh, a taper lock system with the chamber. And then when it 
needs to be extracted, a little bit of nudge, and it comes right out of the chamber very, very easily, not a whole lot of force required. So that is why 7.62 guns are inherently more reliable than anything with a straight walled or straighter walled case, like uh, just, for instance, a 5.56 round. Now, that said, as far as 7.62 by 39 rounds are concerned, this stuff is boringly reliable. And I know that because we shot an entire case of it in while we were testing the Dracos that we're going to be uh, hopefully publish a video on very soon. It's going to be called Dueling Dracos and it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully we'll see you guys over on that video here pretty soon. That's all for us here today at the VSO Gun Channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you smack that uh, like button down below and hit the, uh, hit the share button, all that sort of stuff. So you can pass it around, bring all the peoples into the VSO Gun Channel family here. Thank you guys again very much for tuning in. We'll see you guys on a future video.